Where are you going? I don't know. Where am I going? On an adventure, I hope. Oh. Wait. Am I doing that again? Because <laughs> I messed up. Okay. Now I know what to do. Oh. Just gonna go check out something. I'll be back in a few. Hasn't been this warm in a while. Hmm. I'm really happy we came. Tonight's been fun. Though, I don't know. I feel off. So beautiful out right now. But my body is all tense for some reason. The feeling is very familiar. What is it? Why do I feel so... sad? Alone? Oh well. Why not? Just a quick dip. feels nice. Something so magical about swimming at night. The water is pitch black, which terrifies me to no end. But it's also so alluring. Alright. Time to circle back now. I don't know. I've been gone for a while now. As far as I can tell. What's down there? What's what's below me? Is that just what's below me? Um, but as far as I can tell, nobody seems bothered by it. Ugh, no. That's not true. I told them I'd be back after a while. They don't have to check up on me every second. What did I specifically come here? Just to see if they come looking for me? See if they care? Is it getting closer? Fuck. No, that's so dumb. How'd I do that? It's getting closer. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. It's gonna touch me. Ah! Of course they won't come. I never asked them to. They aren't mind readers. That doesn't mean they don't care. What is that? And if I wanted some company, I could have just asked. Hmm. <laughs> this is horrible. Why do I always do this? Why do I always get anxious and sad? And then proceed to give myself opportunities to feel even worse. I mean, yeah, man, that's, that's how it be sometimes, man. I'm drowning. I need to get out. Go. Go. They're waiting for us. Go. No. No. Get off of me. Swim, buddy. Swim. Swim. No! Let go of me! I don't even know if I'm really doing anything. Oh, I'm drowning. Oh, fuck. Hey, 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 Stop that. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, I've been down here before. I survived all my visits so far. That doesn't make any of this easier. 
and the realization that this will never go away. That even this will not be my last visit. Something I haven't quite come to terms with yet. It's really hard to admit that I still stumble. That even after seeking help, after opening up and walking towards this, working towards a solution, even the smallest thing can still trip me up. That even though I feel good right now, the world outside of this moment still strangles me. Yep, that's... It never goes away. I don't think I'm being fair to myself, though. Expecting things to always be great. It's just setting myself up for failure. This was never just a sprained knee or a common cold. Mm-mm. Emotional scars stay forever. And that I deal with it once, and it goes away forever. No. It just gets easier to live with. And I think that's good. I think even reaching this point, it's something to be proud of. It is. It really, truly is. Waterbed. I like that. I really do. You spooked me with the hand there. I knew it was something coming for me. How dare you. You spooked me. You spooked me good. Let me know what you guys thought down below. I, um, don't have too much to say about this. I really enjoyed that. I did. I liked the... I like what was said. It was very accurate. And a very good way to put it, where it's not just something that goes away, it's something that just gets easier to live with as time goes on, as time goes on, and you still sometimes fall. And most times it just gets easier to get back out of it. And then you move on with it. I very much enjoyed this though, and I hope you guys did too. But, without further ado, that is going to be it. Just a quick video. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, stay tuned, check out my other videos for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Gonna put you in my shadow now, never gonna see the light of day. Baby, you know I'm taking over this town Gonna have it on my way